If we think back to a time in history, I don't know, let's say 1972, and someone came up to you and said, hey, I've got 300 guitar amps in my front pocket. Well, the first question you're probably gonna ask him is, what are you smoking and how can I get some? And the second question might be, do I just add water? Well, if we fast forward to modern times, that's not such a radical concept because a product like this can unlock a treasure trove of tone. And not only that, it can help us broadcast that tone to the world. Well, forget those guitar amps, but what if you had $130 in said pocket? Well, might I recommend the iRig HDX from IK Multimedia. Now, not only is this incredibly portable, high quality audio interface, I'm talking up to 24 bit, 96 kilohertz, but uh, you can connect this to your cell phone or your tablet. It also works on the desktop, but it's gonna give you a very versatile portable recording solution. And a cool feature about this device is what we call loopback. So let's say you're using like Tonex or Amplitude, which does come bundled with this, and you wanna be able to loop back that audio back into the same device and record it in your favorite social media app, or maybe just recording on your portable software, or even just using the camera app. It's a very efficient way to get great tones from those great IK Multimedia apps, so you can record and share them immediately to all those different applications that you're using for social media. So I'm gonna show you a loopback feature, how to get that all set up, and then of course, uh, I'm gonna share with you some of the other features of the iRig HDX. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but IQ Multimedia did provide an additional iRig HDX, which I wanna give to one of you. If you wanna win this, all you need to do is stick around and watch this video because a little bit later, I'm gonna share information on how you can enter a draw to win a free iRig HDX. So that was recorded with this iPad and Tonex utilizing the loopback feature, which I really think is the secret sauce of this device. It's gonna connect your guitar playing to virtually everything you're doing on your mobile devices. So I'm gonna skip over some of the other features. I'm gonna cover that a little later in the video, but let's get loopback set up so you can see how that works. So if you click on the scroll wheel until the fourth blue light illuminates, that's the loopback. It will default to off indicated by a single green light. But if you turn the scroll wheel to the right, it will change to three green lights. When you see that, click the scroll wheel again and you will see a little light show. That's how you know loopback is on. It also does that when you turn it off, so make sure you see the three lights, then press the scroll wheel. I'm gonna be using Tonex to demonstrate the next steps. If you're using Tonex, make sure to update to the latest version because this feature may not work. Click on the menu button here, then go to settings. In the input section, this should say digital audio. Then change the channel to three. One other setting that is important to note is background audio. This needs to be on if you wanna send the Tonex audio to other apps. So another important detail to note is if you're using multiple applications like Tonex and Amplitude, uh, you wanna make sure that the background audio feature is off on the app that you're not using, or just to keep it simple, just quit out the other application because you might get a conflict between the two. And one other little silly thing, which may not be that silly, but I almost pulled my hair out because I couldn't get any audio out of my device and it was simply because the volume was down on my device. So make sure that the volume is up on your phone or tablet or whatever you're using. Now, one thing you need to know about using loopback is you're gonna lose your camera's microphone. So unless you wanna talk through your guitar, save the talking for later, and we'll just get the rock. Okay, so we're gonna get the rock. So again, I just wanted to mention that just in case you drove yourself crazy, again, uh, wondering why you couldn't hear your voice. Now, keep in mind, that the limited resources on a small interface, it's utilizing all of the channels to process the audio in the app and then looping it back. And if we were to get our voice in there somewhere, it would be running through Tonex or Amplitude and that wouldn't sound good anyways. So just something I wanted to note. All right, now that loopback is working, I'm gonna jam out a little bit and share some of the other specs of the iRig HDX.
Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyways, so everything that I just showed you applies to other applications on your devices, whether it's your tablet or your phone. So let's say you want to record a clip for Instagram with Tonex running in the background. You just do everything that I just showed you, go into Instagram, use the camera feature in Instagram, create your clip and get it uploaded to your account and share it with your followers. <laughs> So as I said, that setup applies to virtually anything that you're doing on your device. Uh, the audio is going to be replaced by everything coming through uh, the iRig HDX. So for example, if I'm recording here on GarageBand, and then I can record from Tonex into GarageBand, and as I said, that will apply to all different apps that you're using on your device. And just to round things out, I want to show you the other features that you can access utilizing the scroll wheel. The first position adjusts your headphone volume. Clicking the wheel once takes you to the second position, which controls the amp out. You can set it to output the dry signal from your guitar or the process audio from the app you're using. That's actually a really handy feature if you're utilizing this setup with a real amplifier or perhaps another recording device. It just gives you another monitoring and recording option. And the third position gives you the same options for your headphone monitoring. You can monitor the clean input signal from your guitar or the final process tone from the app you're using. So if you would like a chance to win this iRig HDX, all you need to do is check the description. You'll see a link to the iRig HDX contest. That's gonna take you to my website. That's lonelyrocker.com. There's a very, very short form to fill out. That's gonna get you into the contest and I will notify the winner via email. You're not gonna hear about it in the comments. You're not gonna hear about it here on YouTube. There's a lot of funny business that goes on around here. So just understand that's not gonna be me. The winner will be notified via me via email. So get over to uh, the contest page, sign up, and I wish you the best of luck. Well, there you have the iRig HDX from IK Multimedia. You know, this is a great little device. Uh, highly recommend you give it a try if you're looking for something ultra portable and very inexpensive. You know, just for, you know, getting Tonex and Amplitude alone is worth the price of admission. And like I said, you're gonna get a very portable solution. And if you are on social media, I can't think of a better, an easier way uh, to get those clips from your guitar uh, straight to social media. Really awesome solution here. Anyways, I'm going to put a link in the description. Also, if this is available via affiliate link, uh, please consider that if it's in your catch area. I will put that in the description. That will kick a little something back to the studio. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and I really appreciate that. But if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, if you made it all the way to the end, I'd love to know who you are. Perhaps you can let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And the description is full of all sorts of ways to support the channel. Affiliate links, I'm on Patreon, and I've got merch. And I look forward to seeing you again in another video.